What's up everybody? It's Iron Andy here. We're unboxing the Creality Hell at One today. That's my dog. Let's have some fun. The Creality Hallet 1 resin printer is a high performance 3D printer for a new generation. With an available print size of 127 millimeters by 80 millimeters by 160 millimeters, this printer is enough to get you started on your new addiction. This printer is very different from my other Creality printer. That is a filament printer, whereas this is a resin printer. What does that mean? Well, that means that it uses resin instead of filament string to print. It gets you cleaner prints with lots more detail. So let's go ahead and open it. Remember, knife safety. <laughs> yeah, your box, your job's done. So the one thing I like that Creality did with this is they had angles put on the top of this and the reason why they did this is because when the resin starts to pull up on the top as it's coming up, it's going to use gravity to pull off that resin back into the reservoir so nothing gets wasted. So that's kind of nice. Right off the bat we see that there are two settings right here, file and settings. Pretty self-explanatory. Now just like other 3D printers, you're going to be using a sheet of paper to do your leveling. Start off by loosening all four bolts on the print bed. Place it back on the machine and tighten the big bolt at the top. Hit settings, Z-axis movement, leveling. The build plate will be lowered down. Push down on the build plate. Tighten all four bolts on the sides. Give the paper a little tug and make sure that you feel a little friction. Remove the paper and place the resin tray back. Boom. This is what an assembled 3D printer looks like. This was extremely easy to set up. The machine came preloaded with a test file that I decided to go with. After I printed it out and gave it a quick clean and removed the pieces without any issues whatsoever, I set the pieces on this board to cure under a UV light. The detail was great, but I wanted to print something a bit more metal. I decided to print out this Space Marine. After going ahead and adding supports and slicing it up, I added the resin into the tank. I loaded the Space Marine onto the printer, accidentally named it the previous file I opened, and off we go. Right off the bat, before I did any cleaning, I was very surprised with the level of detail. So I gave it a quick spritz and rubbing alcohol and pried it off the build plate and cleaned it up a little bit more. I removed the supports and had a little bit of an issue on the sword. I set the piece to cure under the UV light. And man, this is looking good. For a budget printer, this turned out really nice, and even next to an actual Games Workshop piece, not quite the same level of detail, but pretty close. I love this printer. Fantastic, good quality, easy to set up, easy to use. I think what Creality has done here by upgrading a couple things from their previous models, such as the carbon filtration system, have made this printer a must have for anyone that wants to get into 3D printing. Retail value right now, $250. Not a bad price if you wanna take a little bit more of the, just, a, just a gentle leap. Yes, you can get 3D printers for as cheap as $180 or sometimes less. But as far as this goes, resin printer, not bad. Works great. The quality, the proof is in the pudding, people. It looks fantastic. The smell of this machine, not bad. The carbon filtration system inside, Pairing it with a resin that emits 
less of a stench. Really, really helpful for doing stuff indoors. You do want to make sure that you are wearing a mask when printing. When you're taking the part out, you want to make sure that it's in a well-ventilated area. But for the most part, Creality has done a great job with this printer. I love it. It's a good printer. It's really good. And if I can use it, somebody who has very little 3D printing experience, you can too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do you want to see more 3D printing videos on my channel? Please let me know in the comments down below. And make sure if you're new here to subscribe and click that bell notification. Let you know when I'm posting new videos. I hope this has been a helpful review and I will see you in the next video. But remember, I love you 3000.